Now you find another picture on page number 31. In this picture the very old map which was drawn in almost 1597. This is the map of Iran, Pakistan and Afghanistan. You can see this is very old map but it is also plain view of that area. After this map let's talk about compass. The compass tells you about directions. There are four main points of the compass. North, East, South and West. We can use compass to give directions. Compass will help us to find our ways on a map. Now, I have shared another picture. You can also see in page number 32. See. The car is moving. The compass is also given you in the corner of this map. Now see the car is moving from west to east direction and the car is moving towards school. So first it is moving towards east then it will move towards north. So the direction this compass will help you to understand the directions. Now let's talk about different types of maps. First, physical maps. You will see on page number 33. Physical maps shows you the landforms of that area such as in physical maps. You will find mountains, deserts and rivers in the map. If you find these things, this is called physical map. In the key, there are different symbols for each category. Mountain is having its own symbols. River is having its own symbols. So these symbols represent these things. Now let's talk about satellite maps. In book on page number 34. Satellite maps is the map of world. Looks like what the world looks from the space. This is called satellite map. Now the outline of the countries has been marked on the map in blue. This is the picture which is taken from the space. At the last we will learn about aerial photos. When we are taking photos of the earth or when we are taking pictures of any place from aeroplane they shows what a place looks like from the above these are the aerial photos wish you all the best i hope that was helpful allah hafiz have a good day my dear students